I'm now going to explain the second way to use the tube in order to select different plasmatic fractions you need. This is what we do in the majority of the cases. After centrifuge, as you see, you're going to have the red blood cells, the buffy coat and the upper plasma. In orthopedics, typically you will need 3 ml to inject in, into a joint. Then you can just seal the upper compartment to get rid of the upper plasma and only select the 3 ml of the bottom plasma, very rich. In cosmetic medicine, you would need more volume. So usually what you're going to do is to push up once again the buffy coat. Here it comes. This one being fresher, we don't have any hemolysis, no red contamination. And as you see, the filaments are starting to come up, loaded with platelets and leukocytes. And now there are two ways to use the tube. For example, um, again in orthopedics, some users would prefer to discard the leukocytes. Then you can stop exactly here or a bit higher so that you discard almost all the leukocytes. If you want to keep the leukocytes, you continue pushing up until this time the red blood reaches the upper net li limit. You now seal the tubes so that you prevent any contamination from the red blood cells and you will draw your plasma this way. You will notice that doing so I'm aspirating the lower plasma which is the richest in platelets. Once again, depending the use, you can draw 6 ml or more, it's up to you. At this stage, of course, you can again use the small connector to mix with some HA in order to treat volumes in your patient or injecting some HA in the knee as a viscose supplementation. It's up to you. Thank you for watching.